and welcome to our lesson on angles in a triangle. In this lesson we're going to use the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So we have the three angles here, the 50, the 60 and the angle A, and together they add to make 180 degrees. So we can add the 50 and the 60 together to get 110 degrees. Added to angle A will equal 180. So we can take away 110 from both sides and angle A will equal 70 degrees. Question B, we can add the 30 and the 10 together and they will make the 40 degrees. Added to angle B will equal 180. We can take away 40 from both sides. So angle B will equal 180, take away 40, angle B will be 140 degrees. For question C, again we can add the two known angles together. So 120 add 35 is 155 degrees. So angle C will be 180, take away the 155 degrees. So angle C will be equal to 25 degrees. Let's try some more questions. So these questions are slightly more challenging. Do you want to try these questions yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so to work out angle D, we need to work out this angle first and then we know that the two angles will add to make 360 degrees because they are angled about a point. So to work out this angle, we can have 180, take away the 40, take away the 70, which are the two angles in the same triangle. So that's going to be 180, take away 110, which is 70 degrees. For this angle is 70 degrees, we can work out angle D because they both add up to make 360. So angle 70 plus D will equal 360. So angle D will equal 360 take away the 70, which is equal to 290 degrees. For angle E, we have an isosceles triangle, which is noted by these two symbols here. And these two symbols mean that the two opposite angles are the same. So this means whatever this angle is, this angle is the same. And this one is called E, so this one will also be called E. So now we have the three angles, 32 plus 1, 2 E's, will equal angles in a triangle, which is 180. So we can take away the 32 from both sides. 2e will equal 180. Take away the 32. So 2e will equal 148 degrees. So we can divide both sides by 2 now to work out the value of 1e. So angle E is 148 divided by 2, which is 74 degrees. We can check that this is right. We have 32 plus 74 plus the 74 and that does make 180. If you haven't tried the last question already, do you want to pause the video and try it now? And you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, to begin with, I'm going to work out angle F because it lies along the same straight line as this blue angle. So angle F will be 180 minus 105, because together they add up to 180. So angle F will be 75 degrees. And now I can work out angle H, because I've got the three angles in a triangle. So angle H will be 180, take away the 72, take away the 75, which is equal to 33 degrees. And I can work out angle G using 
this angle and this angle. So angle G will be 180. Take away the 25, take away the 105. So angle G is 50 degrees. I can check that this is right because angle G plus the 72 plus the angle H and the 25 all make the larger triangle. So 35, which is angle H, plus the 25, plus the angle G, which is 50, plus the 72, all should make 180 degrees, which they do. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.